What's up, everybody? Uncle Jesse, aka Cardboard Moses, which you're welcome. It is that time again. Time to do another break. We're going to be doing 2017 Panini Phoenix Football 8 box inner case break number 13. eBay style. Better late than never. Uh, I do have. Oh, it's right here. That's embarrassing. Should have had the camera set up. You have faith in me. Well, listen, I appreciate that. Someone's got to have faith in me. And you know Cardboard Moses is going to split the seas and bring you something nice. So uh, let's do that. Come on. All right. Before I start, good luck, everybody. <laughs> Abraham, uh, I think I need to change your battery or something, man. Sounds like you're, uh, you're losing power. All right. So this is the, the uh, other in a case. The first we did last night. So let's finish off the that other half was very very nice. Uh, so let's see what's gonna come out of here. I can predict a 101 because I'm nice like that. What it do, Kyle? Uh, I didn't. I haven't grabbed that box yet. Uh, I already spoke to Gelf, and uh, he's gonna work on getting me a case or, or a few cases of that actually, so we can uh, throw some more in the store. Uh, but I, I don't have that box just yet. Uh, but I do have you in mind, Kyle. Uh, so we will get that done as soon uh, as I do get it, uh, Kyle. But I, I haven't received it just yet, man. Unfortunately, I wish I did because I would love to break that. Still got teams left in top so five star though. That's uh, that would be the next move. That's what I would like to get going today. Get that out the way. Yeah, trust me, Kyle. Uh, we we were definitely uh, working on a little something, something. Like today, I finally got the cases of high tech today. Uh, dude, I was in the office till ten in the morning. So, you know, after the after the uh, the the stream went dark, I started sorting breaks, and uh, yeah, putting in that OT, man, putting in that OT. That and you know we've been breaking a lot lately, and uh, more so those uh, those breaks for hoops and prism just take forever to do. And uh, unfortunately, we've been doing a lot of those. Well, I should say fortunately, because that's uh that's keep that's paying the bills. You know what I'm saying? Gotta do what you gotta do, Kyle. Gotta do what you gotta do. So if you notice, some of your packages will say sorted by CBM. That's your boy. And if I fuck something up, please let me know. Okie dokie. Are the chokies. Good luck in this bad boy. So a whole bunch of color in this thing. Leonard Fournette, Jags. Uh, the focus is out of whack. So since we're doing some football, did you guys hear what happened to uh, to Deshaun Watson? Oh, well, Kyle, you know I got you. You know Uncle Jesse going to do something nice for you. What do we have here? We got David Johnson Pink. Now, some of these cards do stick. What's up, Dale? McVicker? Dot, 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 dot. Steve-O, that was your main quarterback? 
Yeah, I don't have a quarterback right now because Aaron Rodgers got hurt. And then Kaiser's on a bye week, and I can't pick anybody up because, you know, I, I got, I'm in a 20-team league. <laughs> 20-team league. So uh, there's nobody to pick up. So that was for the Seahawks of Mar Darbo with the patch. Base cards here. CJ Bethard. You have Dak as the backup? Oh, you're chilling. Kaiser was my backup to Aaron Rodgers, and then Aaron Rodgers got hurt, and then <clears throat> that pretty much just doomed my season. That and the fact that my running backs are doing squat. You know, last year, Derrick Henry was a touchdown machine. This year, not so much. Thomas Rawls did I last year. This year, mm, not doing anything. My The only bright spots on my team are Tyreek Hill, and, and at one point, it was Aaron Rodgers as well. Oh, well, I also have Rob Gronkowski. You know, he's doing big things. Uh, but that's about it. All right, here for the Steelers, we have Juju Smith-Schuster with the RPA, our first RPA. Chris Godwin for the Bucks there. So much color in this. So much niceness. Uh-oh. So we begin with the 101s. Davis Webb of the Giants with the 101 black printing plate right there. Now, we've seen a 101, but I would like to see an autograph on that 101. For the Texans, Dante Foreman, three color patch with the auto, number to 25. Tim Brown Raiders purple there. Green Tom Brady and Warren Moon. Like, why couldn't Tom Brady get hurt? Why would it have to be the young buck, man? That's not, that's not, man. <sighs> it's not fair. We need some 400 count boxes here. Got him. Well, listen, how could he learn the playbook in time? He he had been there for, like, what, two or three days? That's not nearly enough time to learn the playbook, man. You got to cut the guy some slack. Got to cut that guy some slack, dude. That's like... That's like you going to your job, Right? And they, they, they just throw you on the register, and you, you've never even seen the computer before. Like, you didn't even take the test to, like, learn to do all the steps and whatnot. They just throw you on the register, like, all right, here you go. Fly. That probably wasn't my best analogy, but whatever. I get better as the night goes on. I wonder. Oh, he's huge. He's a huge dude. He's tall as hell. Well, the first things first, he's six foot eight, but he's slow as hell. <coughs> and honestly, Kelvin Benjamin, in my opinion, is, I don't want to say he's overrated because I don't think anybody really expects much from him. I know I don't. I mean, how could you? He's a, he's a Florida State product. They don't, Florida State does not produce wide receivers, you know? With, with a few exceptions here and there, Kelvin Benjamin not being one of them. I mean, I'm just, I'm just being honest, you know. 
At FSU, they produce DBs. Now wide receivers. So that was the Panthers' first mistake, drafting a wide receiver from Florida State. Should have gone to Miami and just drafted a wide receiver from Miami. Can you tell how biased I am? So my Perrine of the Redskins with the RPA. All jokes aside, though, uh, I, yeah, I, I'm not big on Kelvin Benjamin. I don't think he'll help the Bills at all, honestly. Luke Keekley of the Panthers. Although I will say Tyrod Taylor can throw the ball a mile. So if Kelvin Benjamin, you know, decides to put in some effort, who knows, man? They might be uh they might be worthy or something. For the Panthers, Curtis Samuel with the patch. I'm mostly just really upset because of the Dolphins. So, I, I really could care less about everybody. I just want everybody else to do as bad as my Dolphins are doing. So, a whole bunch of color in this stuff, as you guys can see. Where the autos at? Where the autos at? Only two boxes deep right now. Ooh. Ooh. That's a pretty sweet patch right there. That's what I'm talking about for the Titans. Corey Davis. <clears throat> that is sweet. And the Titans patch on there. Number 5 of 10. Nice. That is nice. Here you go, Titans. Malik Hooker Colts. Chris Godwin. Bucks. Dante Foreman Texans. Those are colored. Put that right there. Let me get rid of the base. All right, let me respond to CBJ here real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't they play tonight, as a matter of fact? Bills, Jets, I think, is the uh, the game on tonight. Well, listen, you got to like nice things if you're hanging out with the cardboard mosaics. Game starts at 820. All right, cool. So I got some time. Right after this break, I'm going to do high tech number four, eBay style. Any uh, any luck we can get this five star uh, PYT rolling on the website? I still see 26 teams left. Lots of good teams still available. We tried doing that sports car freaking. Do you remember what happened? It didn't feel, my man. So uh, just go ahead and buy your team straight up. Not to mention seven more purchases on the website, and I give away two hundred dollars in break credit. And uh, from what I can see here on the five star baseball, there's a bunch of fourteen, nineteen dollar teams, twenty four dollar teams. So hey. You could just straight up buy all those cheap teams, which are probably going to hit. So you're going to make some of your money back there. And you're going to have a good chance at the break credit because you bought so many cheap spots. That you just amassed a whole bunch of spots for the giveaway. And you got a good chance to win some money there too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Also, if you've never made a purchase on the website... 
Just visit RipCityCards.com, register for the account, and save 15 bucks on your first purchase. All right, what is this? For the Broncos, Carlos Henderson. I think that's like a piece of the cleat or something. Number 299 right there. Flacco. Where are they playing in in Buffalo or in Jersey? Uh, tonight's game. I might start rooting for the Bills, man, because Dolphins are just a hot mess. I have a Taiwan Taylor patch there for the Titans. It's in New York. I thought the I thought the uh, the Giants. Well, don't the Jets and the Giants share the same stadium? I could have sworn their stadium was in Jersey. Crow Browns. Sidney Jones Eagles. So they're playing. Oh, that is nice. Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. With the RPA to 99. That is a nice card right there. If you like nice things. Sepkowkis, New Jersey. Yeah, I've been to Jersey once. I went to Atlantic City. And uh, no disrespect to the people of uh, Atlantic City. But uh, the place is a dump. It is probably one of the ugliest towns, cities, whatever that I've seen in a while. Deshaun Hall for the Panthers there, purple. That's it. Thinking of where the Mets play. It is, right, Jeff? It's, dude, it's, it's, it's such a dump. Honestly, the only, the only good thing about Atlantic City is the obvious, the casinos. And there's really only two casinos to go to. It's, uh, you either go to the Bellagio... Or you go to the uh, there's a there's some other one. There's a bunch of casinos, but there's like two the two fancy ones. One is the Bellagio, and I forget the name of the other one. Well, Jeff, if you're from Jersey, then you know what's up. You know, I went to Atlantic City thinking it was gonna be like the Jersey Shore. Little did I know that the actual Jersey Shore is like like a few. 50, 60, 100, maybe 100 miles north of where actually I was. The Borgata. There it is, the Borgata. Yep, that is indeed the two big ones, the Bellagio and the Borgata. I mean, they have other casinos. They could have the Trump Casino, which actually I think that it's closed down now because when I was there last year, the uh, workers were on strike or whatever. Literally, they were on strike. They weren't working. Um... Or whatever. There's the Tropicana. And like, they have their little boardwalk there. Which I thought was going to be nicer. But it wasn't. There's the Borgata. There's no Bellagio in Atlantic City. Are you sure? I could have sworn they have a Bellagio and a Borgata in Atlantic City. Or You're probably right. I mean, you're, you're from there. I know the Borgata for sure. That sounds accurate. But there are like two. There are two fancy casinos there in Atlantic City. I know this for sure. I just can't remember because you know, I was drunk most of the time when I was in Atlantic City. So I just I can't remember for the life of me what this, the, those casinos were called. They had like a little Taj Mahal thing there. That was kind of cool. Is the food good there? They have this one spot that my boy put me on. It's like a little mom and pop shop. Where they have like uh, They call them submarines. And they're these big ass subs there, dude. Like, you heard of footlongs? No, these things ain't footlongs. These things are like yards, bro. They're freaking huge. 
I don't know if it's the golden nugget. I, I don't know. I feel like the Bellagio and the Borgato were both there. But maybe I was just that drunk that I, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was the Bellagio or the Borgata or whatever. Something with a B. The God went to 25 for the Bucks. That's a nice patch on there. Yeah, there's not that many good restaurants. Well, I wouldn't know about the restaurants. I, I like to hit the mom and pop shops. And uh, I, I went to this one place. I think it's called White House Subs. I think is the name of it. If I can recall that. Jeff, does that ring a bell to you? The uh, my, my resident New Jerseyan? If that's what you uh, what you would call it, there was never a Bellagio there, so I was just that drunk. Okay, cool, got it. Moving forward, is there a place called White House Subs there? How about that? Can I at least be fifty percent today? Also, you did hear about the White House Subs, yeah, baby. Wayne Gallman of the Giants with the RPA to 150. That place is the bomb digs, bro. I had me a Philly cheesesteak from there because I was trying to go to Philly to get like an official Philly sub. But, you know, my boy was telling me because my boy, he's from New York, but he stayed like he's always in the tri-state area. Uh, and he went on a trip with us at the, you know, the last national, two nationals ago. And uh, he was telling me how, yeah, you know, we were trying to plan a trip to go to, to go to Philadelphia and uh, to go visit some of his family in New York, too. Uh, but never, never got the opportunity. So I figured, well, shit, if I can't go to Philly, give me an official Philly cheesesteak from, like, you know, whatever the Philly joints are out there. I'm trying to think of this one Philly joint, but, like, I always see it, like, on TV or whatever. I just can't remember the name of it. You never heard of White House Subs? Oh, damn, son. Well, maybe I'm not saying it correctly. I, I think it's White House Subs. I'm pretty sure it is. I know I got pictures on my phone. Uh, I'll check at some point. But the, uh, the moral of the story is, if you ever want to go to Atlantic City, don't. Because it's, uh, it's, not, it's not a good looking place. You know what? Now, now curiosity has, has reached that point where I, I must know now. I must know what the F I was talking about. Pretty sure it's, it's uh, White House, though. Uh, I will be doing the high tech tonight. Yes, sir. I'm going to be doing that right after this break, uh, Jeff. I will be doing that right after this break, my dude. Is it worse than Hialeah? Oof. You know what? Hialeah is home. and So I will say, dude, you know what, though? I will say this. As bad as Hialeah is, Atlantic City's worse, dude. No worries, Jeff. I appreciate you and your patience, man. <clears throat> it's pretty bad, dude. You know why, though? Because, like, at least to me, in my opinion, like, the houses down here, you know, for the most part, they're plywood and whatever. You know what I mean? Like, they can withstand hurricanes, so, you know, they're, they're pretty well built. Um, but in Atlantic City, like, a lot of their, like, houses and buildings are made of bricks and whatnot. So, like, you can clearly see how deteriorated some of the buildings are. And it's just terrible. Like, not all right. Uh, uh, the best way I can explain it to you is this, uh, sports car freak. Since you 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 live in Miami, you ever been to the Gables? And you know how like, eventually you get to a point in Coral Gables where, literally, you cross the street, and it looks like shit. Like there's crackheads, there's babies selling drugs on the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just terrible. And you're in Coral Gables. Like, you just crossed the street. And you went from a mansion to a crack house. That's kind of how it is in Atlantic City. Except no mansion. Just straight crack house. And instead of a mansion, you have a casino. 
Yeah, it's a lot of crime. I mean, I, 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 I do have a hood pass that is good nationwide. Uh, and my friendly neighbor hood representative tells me that it's good internationally. Uh, but I, I haven't crossed the nation to test that, that hood pass yet. But, you know, for the most part, I was walking around, because I like to walk around. I was walking around Atlantic City, and I purposely went through the hoods. Because, you know, I'm weird like that. And I was raised in, like, a bad neighborhood, so, like, I'm kind of used to the fuckery. And I kind of just wanted to see if anybody was going to do anything. And luckily nothing happened. Otherwise I would have shot him in the face. With my, with my fist. Because I, I, I don't own a gun. Juju Smith though. He might have a gun. For the Steelers. RPA style. And he's been, uh, been balling. He's been balling. I don't know how legit the Steelers might be. But. They've been looking real good lately. Got that there. They were supposed to rebuild the entire city. Yeah, they did a terrible job at that. There's potholes everywhere in the streets. It's just a hot mess. But the O.J. Howard right here, RPA, not a hot mess for the books. That is noise. And it is woo. It's numbered to 149. So nice. It wants to get out of my hands and into the hands of its owner. There you go, Bucks. Let me see what's in the rest of this here. Nothing there. That's what I was doing, Jeff. That's what I, I mean. The boardwalk is kind of cool, but I was just, I was expecting the Jersey Shore. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever see the show, the Jersey Shore? That was my guilty pleasure back in the day. I used to be ashamed of admitting that. Not so much now. I don't care. OJ Howard of the Bucks with a patch. You know, I was hoping to go down there and, you know, go to the hunk of bunker and, 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 and fist pump. Didn't get the opportunity. I really did. I really did want to go to. I wanted to go to Jersey, and I wanted to fist bump. Like it's only right. Oh, that Seaside Heights, exactly. That's what. That's what my boy was telling me. Like as soon as I got there and I met up with him, and I was like, "Yo, let's go to the boardwalk. Let's go to the Jersey Shore, bro." He's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, dude, we're in Jersey. Let's hit the shore." And he's like, "Bruh, we're in Atlantic City." Not, you know, and he did say Seaside Heights. I just didn't remember it until you mentioned it. On account that, you know, my memory is uh, terrible. You call it Sleazeside. Hey, I might really need to go there then. I like it when it's sleazy. Makes it easy for your boy. You know what I'm saying? You take a swig of the juice. Sports Crush Freak, you would like Atlantic City for sure. Anyways, how about them Astros winning the World Series last night? That was awesome. Glad for the city of Houston. Uh, kind of sad for the Dodgers. Their losing streak continues. But they'll be alright. You Darvish needs to get it together, though. I don't know. That dude might need to see, like, a sports psychologist or something. I don't want to say he's the reason the Dodgers lost, but uh, he's kind of the reason the Dodgers lost. Yo, you saw the ring, sports card freak? Dude, I was say I, I, I was kind of kind of caught up in the moment last night, and I was like, oh, you saw that Corey Davis? Nastiness, Josh. Um, but, yeah, dude. I would have, I would have, I would have said yes if Carlos Correa proposed to me with that big ass rock. Fifteen carats on that, dude. I thought it would have been bigger. That thing looked like you could buy a country with it. That thing was huge.
definitely the reason they lost, right? It's a shame because he's not a bad pitcher. But you know what they say. You got to do it in the when it counts. Not just like in the regular season when it's kind of like whatever. Yeah, Carlos Correa's wife better be like giving everything up to that man. With the ring he proposed, I would have said yes. Oh my God. I would have been like, yes, Carlos, yes, I'll be a girl for you. Altuve was the MVP for the season? Well, it's not like they could have just started Clayton Kershaw again. But what do I know? He probably would have did better than, than Darvish. What do we got here for the Bills? Nathan Peterman with the RPA. Jehu Chase on for the Chiefs purple. Dale, I'm assuming you're a Dodgers fan. Kirk Cousins Redskins. John Ross, Buddha Baker, Cardinals there. Nothing here. Got Jim Zorn of the Seahawks. Purple, uh, pink. Nothing here. Blake Bortles of the Jags. Purple. Minnesota. Dalvin Cook. Ah, I feel you, Dale. I feels you. Braves have a nice future, though. They got some good pieces. Dansby Swanson's going to be nice, man. Which is more than I can say for my Marlins. We're uh, probably going to clean house now that the Jeter group, as they uh, like to call themselves, are running things. I don't know how I feel about that. I hope they don't get rid of Stanton. I really don't. Because, uh, you know, we drafted him, and he's only played for us. So, considering we've given away literally every good player we've ever had, it'd be nice if we can at least keep him. Put this in the wrong spot. For the Texans, Dante Foreman with the RPA. McCaffrey Panthers. Please send Don Mattingly to the Yanks. Nah. I hope they don't get rid of him too. I like Mattingly. The man knows his baseball. I can't honestly. I why did the Yankees get rid of uh who was I forget I for, I always forget Girardi. It's a shame, Dale, isn't it? It's a damn shame. It must be something about the South. I don't know. Must must have must have something to do with, you know, the South. Girardi sucks, Jeff? Or Mattingly? Kyle, you always doing your part, dog. You always doing your part. I mean, I was about to offer you, you know, a, a deal on all the teams, considering you're the resident big baller. Girardi sucks. Well, listen, he took them all the way to the championship series, man. You got, you got to give him credit for that. I mean, I get the players play, but the managers manage, man. You got to give Girardi some kind of credit for getting that young team out there. I know, Jeff. I just like to stir the pot with Yankee fans. It's always fun. <laughs> they did win a championship with Girardi back in the day. 
what was it, 2009? I wonder, does the manager ever get credit? When the team does well, as opposed to when they don't, then it's like, oh, it's all the manager's fault. Fucking Dusty Baker can't win anything. At some point, you kind of got to give, you know, I don't know. Baseball's a funny sport. In 2008, they won it. I can't recall. But I'm pretty sure they did win a ring with Girardi as the manager. Miller. Phew. So many parallels in this thing. whole bunch of color. That's what I want to see. RPA, baby. Cooper Cup of the Rams. With the RPA, Quincy Wilson, Colts, Cardinals, David Johnson, some of Ryan Redskins. Oh man, Rams doubling up on the RPAs. Josh Reynolds with a nice three color RPA right there. That's number two out of five. That is so sweet. Well, don't the Yankees always lead the league in, like, payroll? All right, Jeff, I got a question for you, my man. If the Yankees don't make the playoffs next year, and I know you're already thinking, there's no way, there's no way we're not making the playoffs, bro. But just entertain the thought. If the Yankees don't make the playoffs next year, Would you blame the manager? And be like, oh man, I wish we had Girardi back, man. You don't know what you got till it's lost, man. I miss Ryan Tannehill. Alright, that's it for that. I like that response, Jeff. That, that was a nice, classy, safe response. You should be in politics, man. Chicka, chicka, wow, wow. Well, we don't have any more baseball now for a while till the spring. So it's going to be all about basketball and football now, baby. Oh, the game should be on by now, right? The uh the old Bills Jets game. I don't know who to root for, because they're both in my division. But I like how the co the Bills have been playing so far this year. They've been doing well. They've been doing well. All right. So listen, I need to I need to get up on my baseball knowledge for the like the minor leagues and the AAA and all that stuff. Like, when does their season begin? I want to I want to try to like keep track of who's good, like who's up like coming up, who's good, who has a chance to like 
You know what I mean? I just want to learn as much as I can about baseball before the start of the next season. So I'm going to be doing some homework. April is when they start the minors. Probably going to watch college baseball as well. Just to, like I said, just to try to, you know, learn as much as I can. Ah, gotcha, Jeff, gotcha. Yeah, dude, I'm all over the, you know, the MILB website. Trying to see, ooh, a one of one, baby. Chris Godwin for the Bucks with the NFL Shield. There you go. Cardboard Moses did it again. That's a sweet NFL shield right there. Yeah, I use aluminum bats when I play softball. And I hit that thing a mile, boy. For the Niners, CJ Bethard with the RPA. I just want to learn as much as I can. That way when the season starts, I could be like, yo guys, you know, be on the lookout for this dude. Or watch out for that guy. Or this guy sucks. Or whatever. You know, I just want to be able to talk to talk with the boys. Cause I can talk bait I can talk uh football and basketball all day. You know, I'm pretty knowledgeable with those sports. But baseball, not so much. And you know, and baseball's the sport that has like the most I feel like the biggest Support in the hobby, if you will. Smart for gold right there. And a Blake Bortles gold for the Jags. What do we got here? Yeah, Dante Foreman for the Texans. No love for the Chargers, Josh, unfortunately. Texans RPA there to 99. Curtis Samuel there. Oh, when do oh the Dolphins play Sunday? Yeah, I'm still recovering over last Thursday night's uh, debacle, where we just looked absolutely terrible. What up, JV? See, JV, that's the kind of info I needed, and that's why I love you. That's why I keep you around. All right, so that was the break, guys. Let me uh, finish putting this away here. What was that, Dale? Don't ever mention the Braves. Well, speaking of Acuna, isn't uh, isn't Acuna? Well, actually, I think it might. Or maybe I think isn't that a prospect for the Braves? All right. Anyways, let's do this recap for y'all. Auto style, baby. So we got Foreman Texans, Bethard Niners, Reynolds Rams, Cup Rams, Foreman Texans, Peterman Bills, Howard Bucks. Schuster Steelers, Jones Bills, Gallman Giants, McCaffrey Panthers, Henderson Broncos, Davis Titans, Perrine Redskins, Foreman Texans, and Schuster Steelers. And that, my friends, was the break. What was it, Uncle Jesse? It was 2017 Panini Phoenix Football. A-Box, Intercase Break 13, Nephew Niche. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.